Hello Scorpio, hello and welcome to your December 2021 general reading. Um, we will slightly or loosely um, separate the reading into areas. The first thing we're looking at will be the overall energy for the month of December before we're then moving into your emotional core, so into emotions, which could be trauma that needs to go, or maybe um, they're going to talk to you about love before we actually go into opportunities. And these opportunities have to do with how to sustain yourself um, financially. But let's look at the overall energy for the month of December. And sorry, <laughs> you have the spider. You have the frog as the outgoing energy and you have the dolphin as the incoming energy. <clears throat> now, how this works is the spider here is the one in the middle. The one in the middle is the most important energy because it is surrounded by the other two. But you have an incoming energy, um, and we will talk about this, then we will pay uh, uh, more, more attention to the one in the middle always, and then you have an outgoing energy. Um, it will become a bit more self-apparent as we actually go along the video. So let's have a look. The first energy that you have is the overall energy for the month of December 2021 for the star sign of Scorpio. You have the dolphin. The first message that the guides have to you, I don't know if you can see this here. The first message that the guides have for you is to remember that what really is your biggest weapon, is probably the wrong word, but that's the word I'm sort of getting, your biggest, let's just put it, Let's just change this slightly. Your biggest tool is your longevity. Your biggest tool is your intelligence. Your biggest tool is your intuition. And the first thing the guys are asking you to do in the month of December is to utilize what you already possess, right? Because the problem that you have or the issue that you have with the incoming energy, which is the dolphin, is that the dolphin oftentimes um, is misread uh, because, you know, um, he has very few muscles in the face, so he always looks happy, no matter how he feels. And so there is an element um, to the energy here of the beginning of the month or the energy that the month starts at, um, that you are trying to make the best of situations when in fact all you need to do in inverted brackets, is to speak up. So the first thing they're saying to you is be who you truly are. Really, really important. Be who you truly are. Also remember, the dolphin is incredibly strong. Um, so there is nothing to worry about when you actually are who you are, but you also should um, speak up because the main message for the overall energy for the month of December 2021 for the star sign of Scorpio is the spider. And the spider is the creator of the web of life. So you create the web of life. You decide who is in your web of life and who do you allow the most space in your energy, in your web of life. Ultimately, the energy or the main energy for the overall energy for the month of December for Scorpio is literally for you to realize that it is within your power um, to put people in their place, if that makes sense, because that's the energy here of the spider as well, right? Um, so you decide how much time you spend with people and you decide how much effort um, and how much energy you put into situations. So if there are um, situations this month for you Scorpios where you feel pushed to something, um, then decide to spend less time there, right? Or, or minimize the, the time spent on a topic that really tires you, if that makes sense, because your outgoing energy is the frog. And the frog is an amphibian. He can live on land and on water. So what the guides are saying to you is if you learn to speak up, to be who you are, and ultimately as the overall energy for the, for the month of December, if you are determined to 
look at what you need first, the way you tick first, what you do, what you require for one of the world first, it will change the web of life, your web of life. And when you make these changes, uh, even if people then feel rejected or some people are not happy that you actually remove yourself from situations, you have the frog. And the frog, the frog being an amphibian, meaning he can live on land and on water, is literally saying to you, you make these changes, no matter what comes next, you will just be fine. So that's the overall energy for the months of December for the star sign of Scorpio. Now, now we're moving into your um, emotional core. Let's see what you got with regards to the emotions. And we do the same thing. We have an incoming energy, the main energy and the outgoing energy. And we always put the main energy down first. So the main energy is your moose. The incoming energy is the rabbit. And the outgoing energy is the arctic fox. So this is not about love coming in. This is about you looking at your emotional core, looking at how you feel and what you are actually caring and probably have been caring for quite some time. The reason why this, why this comes up is because the moose is your main uh, animal um, is sort of a slow moving uh, animal. That doesn't mean he's super slow, but he's a slow moving um, uh, animal that is prone to um, to stress when chased, if that makes sense. So, but let's just take this from the top. The rabbit is saying to you, with regards to the emotional turmoil that you are carrying inside you, the rabbit is saying, I'm the rabbit and there's loads of rabbit holes that I have prepared for you. And each of these rabbit holes lead to a release of trauma. But you need to decide to go there. So the offer is for you this month from your guides, which are represented here by the rabbit, that if you wanted to look at situations that um, need tweaking, just choose one of those holes. Just start with something, start with anything really, that, that you feel um, that you can actually identify or address um, and go for one rabbit hole rather than all of them, if that makes sense. My feeling is also because the, the rabbit has the, the rabbit holes that this might actually be a case of um, you looking into soul retrieval. My feeling is when this comes up, because they're all sort of ancient animals, we, we get there. Um, my feeling is that these some of these traumas that you're carrying with you were probably severe. Um, and I think the, because they were severe, there's a good chance that some of your soul parts um, have sort of stopped <laughs> working, um, if that makes sense. So there's, so, there's, so there's a part of your soul that is in hiding to protect yourself. And my feeling is that now is the time Will you just behave, cats? Now is the time for you to um, reclaim some of your soul parts, right? Because there are answers when you ask questions. Ultimately, no matter what you do, because this is your main animal guide, the moose, um, you need to realize that you have antlers. This is an animal with antlers. And antlers, I don't know if you can see it here, antlers represent protection. You are quite protected because the guides want you to look at um, your healing um, and want you to say like, yeah, okay, um, I haven't felt great in a while and it's time I, I did something about it, right? Um, but because you have the moose, which like I said, is an, is an animal, you know, sort of a deer type animal, um, and they all really um, can get spooked and stressed out rather easily. So what the guides are saying is, while you look at your healing, um, make sure you do it at your own pace. Because your outgoing energy for your emotional core and for your emotional turmoil, for want of a better word, 
is the Arctic fox. And the fox tells you, you an old soul, you have been through so many things, um, so you don't really have to worry about not being able to address situations. But of all the foxes, the Arctic fox is the most vulnerable simply because of where he lives. It just denotes that when you live in the Arctic, there is less opportunities, less food. And you also, he would, he has had to change the way he approaches his prey, if that makes sense. So there is healing that needs to happen, but you have found a way to live with stuff that is really not healthy, right? And so um, as you go through your own healing, the the healing in itself after it has been addressed might not be super smooth or super quick, if that makes sense, right? But this is the month, December, where the guides are saying is you address your healing, a lot of things will get better. So ultimately, now we're moving into the last um, quarter, last third of this reading. Now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you and you have the kingfisher you have the crow and you have another deer mm -hmm. okay let's have a look <clears throat> remember the one in the middle the kingfisher is the most important when it comes to opportunities because he is surrounded by the other two but let's take this from the top here's the crow the crow is the animal of transformation. So what the guides are saying is, if you want to bring about changes with regards to what you actually do, or maybe you want to slightly change how it is done, maybe you want to do less, but in a different area, if that makes sense, this is going to be a journey. This is not going to be something that you just decide and then click, here it is. Um, so even if someone decided, yeah, you know, when you said, okay, I'm going to do this and, um, you know, um, will you have me? And someone says, yeah, absolutely. It, it's not going to be without difficulties making these changes because you're going through transformation. So while you're looking for what can I do next or maybe how can I um, almost improve what I'm doing already, but make it more suited to my needs um, it is still a journey that you are on <clears throat> and so as you go through a new situation the energy of the new situation has to find you first before it can fully work for you good thing is is your main animal guide here which is the kingfisher and the kingfisher just like the hummingbird are the two birds that tell you that no matter how crooked the tree is, and the tree represents your life, the kingfisher can work any tree, no matter how bent this tree actually is. So in translation, uh, because this is obviously your middle animal guide, uh, what the guides are saying is no matter what changes are coming your way, ultimately you're more than capable of dealing with them. Right? And here the outgoing energy is another deer. And um, obviously you talked about the, the moose <clears throat> you know, related field. That deer here is telling you, I don't know if you can actually see the card. Yeah, probably should. <clears throat> the outgoing energy of dealing with your um, opportunities is to make the changes slowly. Do not rush into anything. Um, and also don't feel that things need to change overnight because to energetically speaking to me it feels that would be that would be uh, not only unreasonable but but the timing would be off you there's nothing here that you can say like i'm going to do this today and this tomorrow unfortunately or maybe fortunately depending on how you see the world um it's not the opportunities are not really working when they're done super fast, if that makes sense. So I'm going to give you an outgoing card for the opportunities as well, just to see where we're going. And you have the dancer of beginnings. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's perfect. You have the dancer of beginnings, which means you want to bring about changes. Changes are ready, but dancing literally means pussyfooting, which means there can still be changes 
while you are manifesting new beginnings. So, in other words, I think the main message here or the main theme that comes in here with regards to um, how you how your opportunities unfold is for you to always allow for for something to be not quite as static as you want it to be and to leave some room for maneuvering um, and also some room for within the field that you apparently know well um, to deal with things that you haven't dealt with before right so that's all we have time for. That was your um, general reading for the month of December for the star sign of Scorpio. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. I thought um, I'm going to do a video today where I show you the cards simply because a good friend of mine who is a Scorpio um, um, is always going on about that I don't show the cards. And because um, it Recently it was her birthday. I said, okay, I'm going to do the one video just for you in the future. There's a good chance that you see my face again. <laughs> right? All right, guys. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee now on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Thomas, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time.